Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, this presentation. My name is Tommy from Fanville, uh, along with my colleague uh, Hector Zarita, uh, in addition to our strategic partner, VoIP Supply. And what I want to introduce today is our Fanville device management cloud system. I'm going to go over a very brief overview. And for those who really aren't familiar, this is going to be targeted for you because this is going to be a brief 15 minute or so presentation that will really provide you an idea on how to access the system and the type of value that it brings to you. And with that in mind, I'm just gonna go over really the account activation. And the great news is that uh, my colleague Hector is gonna go over some of the demonstrations and how to really provide this thing and kind of get you started within the first few minutes. Now, with that said, let me just get started. As you know, Fanville is a global device manager uh, that develops SIP endpoints that are outlined all in the bottom here. And let me see here. And with all these devices, everything from phones, security products, as well as all of these other different peripherals, you say, how do you manage all these devices from a central location? And that's where we actually provide this service, which is what we call FDMCS, which stands for Fanville Device Management Cloud System. And with this system, it allows people to really auto provision at a rapid pace or centrally manage all of these devices from one central location. And we provide the service free of charge for all of our partners out there. And I'm gonna give you an idea on how to go ahead and access this, uh, this service. And then Hector's gonna go into how to configure it. With that in mind, uh, this system is cloud-based and it also provides an ability that for those uh, sensitive applications where you have to have everything based on your premise for those large enterprise applications. We also have those options as well, but those are very limited and are done on a case by case basis. But it's really a huge way to kind of save everybody. And this is sort of the front uh, dashboard that people will use to go ahead and manage such an interface. This is gonna be one of several different types of uh, things. And what, I, what we intend to do is really provide a quick 15 minute tutorial on how to go ahead and get access to the system and how to really get started by connecting to a device and start your configuration. Feel free to contact our partner VoIP Supply or Rust to get additional information if you so-called want to do that. But this is just a really beginning brief, sort of a quick information guide to how to kind of give you an idea of how to get started on our device management system. First off, what you need to do to get to us is that you can contact us directly. You could send uh, an email to us and say, send it to sales because we obviously, because there's a web, we might end up getting a global attraction, but send it to sales at fanville.com or your local authorized distributor for an account FDMCS. And what you wanna do is provide the following information. Give us the idea on the email address that you want to use to access this thing. Very often people may start off as a personal interest so that, but then yet ultimately when it comes to the long term, I highly suggest you give us the email address that you intend to use to gain access to the system. Provide your company and contact information, indicate the region and country you're from, and obviously indicate the distributor, uh, which is VoIP supplied. Once you do that and send it to sales, uh, we will go ahead and kind of put all these things in place and send you an activation link. What is an activation link? This is a link that we'll go ahead and send to you and it's active for three days. So once you get it, I highly suggest you go ahead, you activate the link, set up your username, your password, and then once you do that, you can go back and then go into it and do, do a deeper dive into it. Because once you don't do it, you have to process this whole thing over and perhaps you know redo your username and all that. So my suggestion is get it started, set it aside, and then do a deep dive when you're ready to go ahead and do that. So with that stated, uh, I'm going to go through a couple of things, high-level instructions, and then Hector's going to go into really deep. First is the organization management. You know, before we dive deep into the devices, you can use our system to really design what type of system. If you're doing this in a lab to kind of get started, you could use your own organization where you could define your, your organization, whether it be ABC company, and you could define that by looking over what type of place you're doing for. The offering here is that you can then define what type of client you have and say if it's a John Doe company or Mary Jane company, you can assign that one. And then you can also assign 
other entities, like for example, site management, where you can all of a sudden dis define what building, what department that they have those things in, and you can build up a tree depending on how you want to go ahead and do that. I want you to be aware that those capabilities do exist. And within each of those different branches, you can then branch out and identify which phones exist within that thing. And you can go through all the specific configurations. This is just a quick high level overview. I'm just gonna go through basically a, a site management tool that you can go over. And then ultimately in terms of getting contact, you want additional support, you can feel free to give us a call on either the sales at fanville.com or tech support. We you send it to tech support? And obviously when you send the support, my colleague Hector will, will also likely be able to gain access to it. And that way provide any assistance that you can go ahead and do. We also have a site where you can download documentation and firmware because one of the big features about this is being able to upload your golden firmware version that you wanna do in our device. And you can gain access to all of these devices based on this one access here, including any documentation that you wanna do. So with that quick overview, I'm just gonna pass this on to Hector, which is kinda of gonna give you an overview of what the services is provided by this. Thanks, Tommy, for the pause. Hello, everyone. So I hope following info can help you and understand the platform, okay? Now I'm going to share my desktop, okay, to give you a brief live demo of the platform so you can get a better idea of how this composes. Okay, so upon entering the platform, you will find the dashboard, okay? From there, the administrator can have an overview of all the devices that have been added. It even shows the different organizations and sites that have been created. When clicking off any of them, it will display the device that have been assigned to each of them, okay? From here, the administrator can have real-time monitoring of all his device. Now we have the device session, okay? It could be said that it is one of the most used sessions since from here the administrator can a device either individually or in batches, okay? So to add a device manually, the procedure uh, is quite simple. You just have to enter the device session, the Mac other associated uh, with the phone, okay, in this file. Then define any name just to identify the device, okay? Then select the model, okay, here. In this file, you will search uh, the correct model, phones, uh, intercoms, door phone, anything other products that can be, that can be support, uh, already support with the platform, okay? Then, from here, you already have the option to assign in the site, the icon, okay, like this. Of course, before that, it's necessary that the administrator uh, has already configured the site from this session, okay, and the icon and six user, okay, from this session in order to can be a uh, show available, okay, uh, for here. So first, you need to come, or the administrator need to config the, the site and the icon, okay, and then the administrator can be a, the device, okay, associated with a, a site, a specific site, okay, in order to have organized a structure, okay. The same thing with the SIG server, the SIG account, okay? So you will also have the option to sign with FTPs, okay? Uh, which is basically our forwarding server, redirection server for auto provision solutions, okay? FTPs have the ability to integrate it with Edge to offer a complex solution. So in case that you are not working with the FTPs, Okay, you should basically basically keep getting disabled. Okay, after this, the phone should already be shown in the list of every device. Okay, uh, even with the corresponding status. Okay, if the phone was already successful and your existing SIG user account was also registered, it will be displayed in green as shown here. For example, the B65 phone is shown in green green color, uh, that means that the phone is already online with the platform, okay? It is important to keep in mind that to take advantage of all the functions offered by the, the platform, okay, it's necessary for the phone to be in green status, that is register and online. When you click in, uh, on the device, these options that shown in, uh, in the screen, uh, just shown available, 
uh, when the phone is uh, already uh, online, okay? For example, in this case, that the phone is not online, okay? You will show that uh, some auctions will not available, okay? So it's very important that the phone can be, can be shown and registered. Okay, I mean in green color. Otherwise, I can already say only limit option on the platform can be used, okay? So, then there is the account session, okay? Here you uh, configure everything related to the six server and the user account that will later be assigned to the device, okay? Then there is the site session, okay? Which we talked uh, about a few minutes ago by Tommy. Here, the different sites are configured and the device are assigned to each of them to have an um, organized structure. This session can be said to be similar to the organization site, since it was developed to offer the administrator uh, the possibility to, of having an organized structure of their, of their device. The site session allows you to associate a different device, allowing the administrator to have uh, um, control of all their device in an organization way. For example, in a company, there is a portion department, another sales department, and another technical support department, okay? Then the administrator can create a site for each department, okay? So in other words, there will be a site for the portion department, uh, for, the, for the purchasing department, another site for the sales department, and another site for the technical support department. In this way, the administrator can associate a different device, okay, to each site and have control of each one of them in an organized way, able to perform a firmware update, a specific configuration, or aiming to have real-time monitoring of them. Then we have, uh, then there is the config session that allows you to make basic advanced configuration of the phone, as well as create a specific templates to later assign them to a specific device, okay? In general terms, all the configuration that are made from the phone's web interface can also be made from this config session, okay? Very important session. Then there is the resource session, which allow you, among other features, to perform firmware updates to the device. Uh, I mean, uh, the administrator can we make a firmware updates immediately and also on a scheduled basis, okay? For example, we, we have here shown on the screen different firmware version corresponding to different device, okay? So uh, the administrator can be pushed, can be uh, may use the, the push auction in order to uh, make the, the upgrade, if the firmware upgrade in a specific device, okay? Directly just to select the site, okay? Remember that uh, in each of, each of them site, Okay, the administrator can be uh, have uh, different device. Okay, so for example, if the administrator uh, select the tech department, okay, and then uh, send the, the 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 instant push in order to to make the upgrade, all the device that that, that can aid it in this department will make the upgrade automatically. Okay, so in the same way can be made. Uh, uh, the upgrade, the firmware upgrade in, in a specific time, okay, throughout the time push, okay. Then there is the device diagnosis, okay, it's a session that allows you to perform troubleshooting actions, okay. Then there is the touch session that allows you to perform on tasks immediately and also on a scheduled basis, okay. This task can be, for example, firmware updates and a specific device configurations, okay. So here we have another session, important sessions, okay. For example, EHE session that can be related with access control device, I mean, door phones, intercoms, and many other products, okay, that now have, um, that now are uh, phones, okay, specific products, security products specifically, okay. Uh, we need the alert session in order to the administrator can be config notification in real time, okay. This notification can be sent uh, by email, okay, or can be or can be shown uh, for the system as well here in the message session, okay. We have uh, as well the channel session, okay, that can allow you to administrator or can the administrator can allow the administrator config different sub uh, 
uh, companies, okay, different uh, AFDMC is a con. We have the system session and the authorization session for uh, API solutions. So for this many other sessions, we can make another video to allow you uh, all the details. For now, this is the config that you can make for this specific session, okay? Thank you very much.